In this video, we're going to show how we can do disaster recovery management for MBOX deployment. Basically, we want to make sure the configurations and the user data are kept in a safe place. So when things happen, we can quickly restore and recover our services. By default, all the MBOX appliances, whether HSG, CMG, or HSG, they will register with Mfusion. Once they come online, they will automatically back up the configurations to Mfusion, where you can do your configuration management, check the configuration changes over the past period for each version, because whenever there's a change in the configuration for the command line, the box will create a new config and automatically back up to Mfusion. So you can check the differences for the different versions. You can also make configuration changes here. And once you review the change and you're happy with it, you can straight away push the config to the device from here immediately. This is good enough for CMG and HSA, but for HSG, which have user info, for example, user accounts and user registration details and also the user access records. And most importantly, you may also have the captive portal settings and the customizations. So you have to do a complete backup for HSG. You can do auto backup or you can do a manual backup. You just select the options and the data that you want to include in the backup and you save config, you'll create a mink file here. This file basically includes all the command line, all the user data and capture portal and store this file on the HSG local storage. Then you have to download this to your own computer for archival. Once you have that backup file on your local computer, and when the box crashed or when you need to install on a new box, you just get access to the new box UI. You just upload this config and upload it to the new box. And straight away, you will be able to restore the config to its last backup working status. Just click here to do the restoration. So that's how it works for manual backup and restore. But for large operation, especially if you're managing hundreds of HSG, it's not possible for you to do it on a manual basis for each of the device. So you just go to auto backup setting and you can schedule the backup to be daily, weekly or monthly. You can also store the backup on the local storage. Just bear in mind the local storage can only keep the latest or rather the last auto backup file here. And you still have to download it to your local computer for archival so that you can restore to the new box later on. So they recommended ways to backup it to an external FTP server. So what you do is you go to the system setting, you configure FTP server here. The FTP server can be your own in-house FTP server, or you can subscribe to run the FTP hosting services. Once you put in your credential, you test the connection, make sure it can reach to the FTP server. Then you come back to the inbox backup here, go to auto backup and you select external FTP and you select which are the data you want to include in the backup and you schedule the backup. Then you save the change. Then the system will still create the last auto backup file locally stored on the, di on the disk. And you will at the same time push all the backup to your external FTP server. So there will be no limit on the number of auto backup files you want to keep on the FTP server it really depends on your storage. And you can also choose to restore and you can download any of the auto backup file and restore whichever version on the new box. So you just download the file, go to the new box, upload it. And again, you can go through the same process to do the restore. But sometimes you may not always have access to the new box UI, for example, if the system is in a very remote location and you crashed and the vendor send you a new box there and you get a local supplier to plug in the box and you may not have ui access to it to do the restoration from the ui so what you do is you use mfusion to restore the auto backup config so you just add the device to your mfusion and with a mac address here and you just scroll down to upload the backup file here so once the backup file here is attached to that new device MAC address, then you can push from here immediately. And you can even push this config without the box physically online first. For example, if it is not yet physically installed. So once it comes online, you will automatically grab this backup file and restore and come online as per the last working condition.